Now let's talk about the various branches of the axillary artery. The parts make it easier. The first part gives only one branch, while the second part gives two branches. The third part, since it's number three, it gives off three branches. Now you know. Now let's talk about each branch in detail. So the first part gives off the first branch. Now this branch, it is known as the superior thoracic artery. After it emerges from the first part of the axillary artery, it runs downwards, forwards and medially, goes between the two pectoralis muscles and supplies them. Moving on, the second part, which is beneath the pectoralis minor, gives off two branches. The first branch is called the lateral thoracic artery. The lateral thoracic artery, it emerges at the second part of the axillary artery. Now, you guys remember the second part was beneath the pect minor muscle. It emerges from the second part of the axillary artery and it runs along the lower border of the pectoralis minor muscle in close relation to the anterior group of axillary lymph nodes and it ends by supplying the trunk the breast if you guys remember that we had talked about the breast blood supply the mnemonic was a slip this s was for superior thoracic l was the lateral thoracic that we just talked about so the lateral thoracic emerges at second part and runs at the lower border of pectoralis minor in close relation with the anterior nodes and it ends by supplying these muscles and the breast and the chest wall Moving on, there is a second branch that the second part of the axillary artery gives off. Now, this is called the acromiothoracic branch. It arises deep to the pectoralis minor and it pierces the clavi pectoral fascia and it ends off by giving four branches, namely the D-cap abbreviation that you guys need to remember. D-cap are the various branches of the acromiothoracic branch artery which is a branch of the second part of the axillary artery. Romeo thoracic has given the D-cap branches. These are namely the deltoid branch, D for deltoid. The deltoid branch as the name says it goes into the deltopectoral groove and supplies the deltoid muscle. Then we have the C. C is the clavicular branch. The C branch goes above supromedially and it supplies the clavicle. It supplies the acromioclavicular joint and the subclavius muscle as you remember which was lying just beneath the clavicle moving on acromial branch now this branch it goes and goes over the acromion and takes part in anastomosis across the acromion process which we will talk more in detail later and then finally we have the p which is the pectoral branch this runs between the two pectoral muscles namely pect major and pect minor and supplies them so this was all about the acromiothoracic gift. So this is essential viva question that they may ask you to describe the pathway and the supply of any part of the axillary artery, any branch of the axillary artery. Moving on, let's talk about the third part of the axillary artery.